enter into the bracket, re- or oh. enter into the loser's bracket pretty early. That's more games. But <laughs> we'll see. Three, Maybe Hartley is a slight bit warmed up, but at the same time, Swada, Swada's crazy. Who did Swada beat to make it here? I've completely forgotten that, too. Marker, Damn. right. Hey, here we go. Fan and Marker favorite. is a very hard opponent to beat, so. Oh, yeah, fan favorite, too. You're, you're, you're yeah. playing against a bit of the crowd when you're playing against Marker. Yeah, and as we start this game, we're touching down on Demon Island, and I... Caster bias. Swat is playing blasters. My clan mm -hmm. name is literally called Master Blaster Masher. <laughs> so, seeing Swata pop off, get that end sig on Harpley, makes puts a smile on my face. I also, you I know, think it's it's a, probably a little bit more than caster bias at this point too, because we have a Koji trying to slow down the game and take it carefully, and Swata is still in a lead, and I think. Do we have an overlap happening soon? Ooh, no, actually. Ooh. Dare into weapon throw Swata. Somehow in front of us over back and also dodging out of the D-Sig. Almost Heartbleed would have had a fantastic chance for a recovery. And a recovery from Swata's own fists. Maybe might be able to bring him back. Both of these players, sometimes they play a little bit slow on stage, but when it comes to off stage, that is when you can't blink or you'll miss it. Right now, the next interaction is gonna be pretty pivotal as to who starts the set in the lead. Will Swada build up a three one stock lead or will Heartbleed bring damage to even and make his path just that bit easier? Ooh, and being the latter. Is um, I think slowing down the game at the beginning is when Swata was really able to find his way in, and that's also just something that Swata is very good at. It's it can be very hard to play defensive against Swata sometimes. Um, he just he finds his way in. It it's a very very strange phenomenon to see, ooh, but he ooh, just ooh, finds his no. way in, and he just wins you out on neutral that it. many more times. What? As Heartblade has actually done a great job of bringing the game a bit closer to even. I mean, it's not a spot you want to be. You don't want to have Swat to have a damage lead over you, because then you know he's gonna grab the snock that the he's gonna snag the stock like that. I don't know why I said snock, uh, but snock. still, <laughs> but uh, still, this is a much better game state than how it was looking just a minute ago. Yeah, and now, Heartbleed, you had a very, very good, like, gift possibility there, but he got the very end of that blaster recovery and managed to chase back onto stage, but that just goes to show Heartbleed does have it in him to bring this even. This Koji in hand that Heartbleed has been putting out has been doing work. We saw it earlier in Bracket, and honestly, despite, you know... The legacy of Swada. Heartbleed's doing a really good job considering how. Ooh. Okay. okay. Victory! Fine. I Player sure. two wins. Cool. Swada <laughs> took an early lead and Heartbleed was not able to pick up the pieces. However, I still. Um, I still think that. Uh, uh, that doesn't spell out disaster for Heartbleed because it just took one very uh, unfortunate interaction at the beginning of the game to just kind of set Swata up for the next four minutes. Heartbleed also thrown a lot of changing variables at Swata for whatever downloads uh, or muscle memory, anything Swata that ha anything Swata had down um, memorized is some of it is thrown out the window. Characters and maps looking pretty different. Yeah, and Heartbleed making the switch over to the Yumiko. Exact same setup as the go the GOAT, Feizaru 80. You know, when I saw the setup and I was like, is this Feizaru I'm watching? Nah, he's in here. This is Heartbleed coming in here and going absolutely crazy. But Swata still does have a very slight damage lead. The D-Light Sare coming from Heartbleed. Trying to get a slight bit of damage onto Swat and Harpley's doing a good job bringing this, keeping this pretty even. But he can't let it keep, he can't let Swata keep getting this damage with these blasters, man. He's already I mean, onto the red. 
The D light side air nearly KOs off the side of stage. Not yet, however. Oof. Trying to go for the side. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, uh, I'm, dude. I'm gonna go back on the replay later. What even Swata, was that? Swata tried to end Sig. He right. got hit. Okay, it hit. And it hit Heartbleed, right? The Just a very slight bit. The right. weapon throw caused him to drop, so they both were in stun for a little bit, and the oh. spotted just jump nared. So the the amount that Heartbleed fell was just because they were still in stun from that yeah. instant getting. Yeah. Okay, all right. That was that was very confusing. It's not often that you see, like, I, I don't know, you see anything like that happen. It's not often. Yeah, but as we head into this game, Swada with the damage lead, like you said, you do not want to give Swada a damage lead. Because the moment you do, he takes it and he <laughs> runs away with it. But the Nair coming out from Heartbleed with the hammer gets that first stock KO off of Swada. Oh but oh God. wow, taking full use of the immunity and jumping up, doing a D-Light ground pound, hoping it would KO off the bottom of the stage, but not exactly just yet. Swada is perfectly healthy on his first stock, on his second stock. And now Heartbleed <laughs> is down to his last stock. We have a whole stock lead for Swada right now. At first, it was a very, very similar situation from last game, but then Swada has made it actually worse for Heartbleed. Made life more difficult. Swada's movement has also really, really been stepping up. And this game, this man is moving around. Enigma, and also a few things that we're seeing. Swada has Heartbleed's uh, approach read so well i don't know if it's because he was watching the uh, the sets that heartbeat was playing yumiko or just because that first game was all swada needed to have heartbleed completely downloaded but heartbleed is having a bit of a hard time uh finding a way to break neutral and get these first hits in and is playing a lot of this game off of punishes that swada happens to miss which even then those are a bit more fewer and far between but a decent not going to connect to the recovery that would have been a huge opening for heartbleed Heartbleed also throwing out some more D6s, trying to play a bit more defensive, oh, dude. but it has to go down 0-2. Heartbleed, because all right, that first game was like an, okay, you can come back from that. You talked a little bit about uh, like resiliency a little bit earlier, like you can come back from that. It was just one unfortunate interaction that led Swata had an early lead, and it just, you had a hard time coming back from that. Whatever, that was one game. This is a second game. You change as many variables as you possibly could. You change out the characters and the weapons and the stages and also your mindset, but Swata still comes out on top, Whoa. if anything, with an even larger lead than the last time. So what do you do? You toss it all out to switch over to Katars. Hartley is hoping that their last game of the tournament is not on a Surrey. Wow. Yeah, honestly... Swata has just been going absolutely crazy, but I quickly want to shout out Kawa Knight TV. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. Shout outs to Kawa Knight. But we're heading into game three of our losers semifinals, which is Heartbleat versus Swata. The winner of this goes on into top three and will have to fight against Jakey. Wow. So now that we have the Qatar mirror match, I actually wouldn't be too worried, too worried, too worried about Heartbleed uh, for the Qatar mirror match. Swada was able to make some pretty decent work with the Qatars, but it was actually mainly the blasters that was keeping Heartbleed at bay and uh, pushing Heartbleed to the side. One thing that we don't have, however, is that Yumiko has some pretty good D6 that you can use to kind of slow down the game and make your opponent really rethink their approaches, play a bit more defensively, give yourself a bit more breathing room. A Suri doesn't have that. It's really kind of all or nothing. It's either like go past the speed limit or just get pulled over. Like it's 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 a little bit hard to take a Suri slow if you really, really need to. So this could be an all or nothing Two, bet one, for Heartbleed. Is this man a gambler? We'll have to see as Heartbleed makes the switch onto the Asuri. Going for the Qatar Ditto <laughs> match against Swada and Swada's taking it as a challenge as he goes off stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as he goes off stage and nearly In my gives Heartbleed down to the bottom of the stage. But Heartbleed doing a good job staying alive. Swatter with a dodge and a weapon throw and a D-like <laughs> ground pound coming out seconds. from Swatter. 30 
seconds. Uh. And that entire time... <laughs> It was 30, it was like 25 seconds of whatever happened before that, and then that. Wow. Incredible He's job coming out from... Uh, incredible job coming out from Swada. Taking off that first stock with a D-like ground pound after a weapon throw. And, wow. Really, really surprised to see that. But Harpley, with the guitars in hand, trying to do a little bit of work, trying to find any sort of way to approach onto Swada. You can see him sort of like floating around, trying to find his way in, trying to find an opening, like the opening thread, you know. And Harpley getting a lot of damage here, going for the side light and light, getting Swada down to red, even though Swada took that. Good gimp off the first stock. Heartbleed did an incredible job to bring this back even two stocks to two. Uh, Tawada sticking a lot more with the blasters now as Heartbleed is just throwing out D-Light after Nair to try find anything that work. Uh, we said earlier that Heartbleed was actually playing a bit more off of Punish last game and the Katars are being a lot more rewarding of that because they can be pretty good for Punishes uh, but that recovery not quite. That oh. side zig going to snuff that second stock out. Heartbleed is in a very dire situation right here. Swatted dancing around the stage doesn't really quite have Heartbleed's approach red just as well there's movement the two of them immediately picks up and they are dancing on the dome right here as uh, we do have a few more whips coming out as the first one to punish Swada jumps for the dare but Heartbleed's able to answer back with the recovery Sarah gonna miss but Heartbleed is bleeding through options but still it's been so good about using that Sarah to come back to stage and uh, outspacing enemies attacks very well but Swada returns with the exact same in favor all the chip damage that Heartbleed has built up to this point is gonna let a deal of recovery not quite send but another recovery to even out the game Heartbleed has a shot this is his tournament stock here so you can tell that he's trying his absolute hardest to make sure that he is still in the game trying to take at least a game off of Swada but we'll have to see oh wait he's trying to do pretty well he has a katars in hand forcing swada off the side of the stage going for the end like trying to go for the in dodge read but heart bleed what? is <sighs> swada is making this still even this entire game it has been swada getting a good amount of damage as they both start off but then the moment that Heartbleed is very behind and he's like a stock behind, he does an incredible job to bring this even. The recovery, Swada is on super deep red. Any sort of move coming out from Heartbleed will be the KO Next option here. Luzi doesn't, doesn't have defense. How is this surviving? One more bleed. One more recovery. Come on. I know you got it in you. He's just fishing dance for it too. A bit I more. see it. He's, he's fishing going for it. it. Do you like this a quick connect? Oh, we on Katara's now. So he's Ooh, probably gonna looking for a share of some kind. Harpleet's gonna be probably looking for a share, maybe a recovery. Not like Side air. The yes. Signature of I some knew that was coming. Harpleet staying Heart in the game, taking a game off of Swada. Incredible job coming out from coming out from Heart. Wow, my heart is beating for Heartbleed. I was just about to say, heartbeat is a lie. <laughs> my, little, my little heart is thumping. That was a wow. lot to try and try and sit through. That was... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you just gotta shake it off. Yeah. <laughs> that had me scared, but... We're heading straight back into our next game, and... Hardly, he may have taken a game, but Swada is moving on, going straight past and going into this next game on Demon Island yet again. No switches. Everyone's still on the same, same picks, and Hardly on the sword has been doing incredibly well. Oh my goodness! Hardly, he has momentum. He has momentum. He is keeping this lead, and he is going absolutely crazy. Not even with Katars, but with the sword. That was not a fluke. Game three was not a fluke. So, oh, 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 oh! Neither oh, were the first two hurt. games. That hurt. Neither were the first two games. Swata, that hurt, dude. <laughs> oh.
Uh. Immediately evening out the lead, bringing us to clean second stock. And now the game has slowed down a decent bit. Heartbleed is starting to pick up, uh, pick up the pace with some combos, though. Both these players really just desperately trying to look for their way in, but they don't want to risk too much. They're trying to find the first hit without uh, risking getting hit first. Swada exhausting a dodge for that d -sync, but uh, Heartbleed's not quick to be able to punish it. They both find their way back onto stage. Unarmed and the blaster is going to prove itself very difficult. Sword in hand, Heartbleed now has a bit of a better shot, but still, Swada just moving and dancing around, going to make these side airs just line up for him one after another. Double D-Light, Heartbleed, able to even out damage, put Swada in a difficult situation, and a D-Light Sarah to punish the weapon throw. Can he finish this out? Unarmed, throws the Katars for Sword. Heartbleed's choosing to stick a lot more with Sword. It's what uh, won them the last game, and it's what lets them take the lead back. Katars, they were incredibly explosive, and I'm so happy that we got to see Heartbleed's Katars, and even maybe see a little bit more of them. Sarah, that would have been huge, but it also was a huge risk. Thankfully, Swada is not quite able to punish it, but now Swada has Heartbleed in a very difficult situation. Full stage control. Heartbleed still finds his way in. How does he find his way in every time? This is something. Oh my god. This is something that we praise Swada so much for. His attacks are able to just connect. They're able to just hit. Swada is just able to find so many of these neutral wins, and yet Heartbleed proving no matter how the game goes, I could be in the lead, you can be in the lead, but my Asuri is always able to find its way in and find its way out of any situation. 1v1 BCX champion, 21 switching over to the Koji. One, Funny how four. things come full circle as uh, Swada taking a page out of Heartbleed's book, but that also means that Swada's strategy probably going to be changing a decent bit amount now that we are trading some weapons and signatures out for some ones that he thinks might be a bit more benefited for the situation. Bo proving to be very well. He's playing the bow like Katars. Heartbleed still trying to play guitars like guitars though. We do have a weapon on stage. Both of these players, they do have a chance to weapon start Swada. He's gonna get punished for grabbing sword, but it, is it gonna be worth it? Is he, if he's able to get this KO, that would have been worth taking a little bit of extra damage for Heartbleed's not able to line up the share. Heartbleed sneaks over his head, grabs center stage, breaks neutral with a weapon throw, but Heartbleed's able to sneak out under from Swada and grab the D-Light recovery. Heartbleed is not letting Swada run away with this. And also has Swada red. That snaps over his shoulder to try and uh, uh, have that D-Light connect after Swada dodges in. But he's not doing that again for a while. As Heartbleed still is just hitting so many of these punishes, Swada might have to slow down a bit because Heartbleed is just in control recovery not quite going to send but another one will let swada even out stocks but this is the exact same situation that heartbleed was in two times in a row giving him a bit of a taste of his own medicine can swada even it out it all comes down to this can swada respond to being in the same situation that he put heartbleed in can swada respond to being given a taste of his own poison can swada respond to this lead that heartbleed has for probably the first time in the set heartbleed you're making, I know I said this before, but you're making my heart beat faster. This is absolutely insane. We are in game five against Swada. There's a possibility Woo! that we have our top three be Jesser, Jakey, and Heartbleed. Oh, Heartbleed was on tournament stock just 10 minutes ago. And oh my, how the turntables. Wow. Swada's on tournament stock, ladies and gentlemen. If Heartbleed takes this stock off of Swada, he is out of the tournament at fourth. But will he do it, though? Let's see. Swada could clutch this up. He has a bow in hand. He has him right. 
he does have him red, and if Swada takes his stock, he'll also be on Journey stock. The D Live recovery. We are on game five. This is the longest heartbeat. Has game five stock. elimination semifinals. Last stocks for both of these players. Thunder Whatever Wizards. happens of this stock will determine will determine who wins the set. On the, on the verge of a reverse 3-0, this is the longest that Heartbleed has ever held a lead in the entire set. And probably one of the longest that he has held in his entire tournament run. Swada actually started to take note, play a bit more carefully, but the ally whips the other way! Heartbleed is going on to a podium finish! Oh my goodness! Heartbleed with the reverse 3-0 onto Swada? Swada? <laughs> what? Oh. Absolutely insane coming out from Heartbleed, taking that victory. And do you want to do? Do you want me to re repeat what our top three is? Please Jesser, do. Jakey, Heartbleed. Ah. Uh.